Kimberly. Welcome back to Cross Stitch University. Today I'm going to teach you about railroading and that is going to be a tip that's going to make your stitches lie nice and flat. It's a technique where you split your threads. It's totally optional, but if you try it, you might just love it. So let's jump right in. So now I'm going to show you what railroading is and I have already started this row and I'll tell you why I started the row in a second. But you can see that we have two strands of thread on our needle and railroading simply means putting your needle between the two threads. It can be this way, any way you want to put it through. You can put it through this way. It doesn't matter. You're splitting your threads literally and you put your needle in and it makes your stitch lie flat. So I'm gonna do it a couple more times. It's not very complicated. It does add time to your project, but your stitches will look very even if you do this. Now the reason I had already stitched this row is I do not railroad my stitches on the bottom row because those stitches don't show, but I just wanted to demo this in case you wanted to do that. Now I'm at the end of my row, and you can see I've railroaded because I've got it between my two strands. When I go back across, this time I'm gonna railroad every stitch going across, and it will make your stitches nice and flat. So this is an intermediate technique if you want to improve your stitches. It allows your stitches to lay flat, it is great to use for light colors, especially white. So you go through and you just put your needle through the two strands, any direction. And your stitch is nice and pretty. So I'm gonna do that all the way across. And then you can look at the difference between the light blue aqua row and the gray row and see if you see a difference. Just give it a try, and if you like it, then you can do that throughout the project. So our very last stitch on this row, we're going to railroad. And again, just put your needle in between your thread and you're going in the top left hole. So what I wanted to show you is when you travel up, you can't come back up in this hole because that's the hole you just went down in. So to travel up, you can go to the top right, bottom left, and that still gives you the bottom part of your stitch the same direction, which is the most important. And I did not railroad that since it's the bottom stitch. And then you can go back up, railroad to finish the stitch in the top left. And you can go all the way up. I'll do a couple of stitches. You can go all the way up the border the same way, or you could do all half stitches all the way across and then half stitches all the way back down to complete your cross stitch. Just as long as your bottom part of the X and the top part of the X are going the same direction. Now, if you are gonna stop and take a break right here, you could take your needle out and put it on this needle minder. And then when you come back, you can just pull your needle right off. Now, after you take a break, just pick your needle back up and finish the left side and the right side of the inner border. And that's how you railroad. 
I would love for you to leave a comment and let me know what you think of railroading and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Class dismissed.